Welcome back to this tutorial series introducing you to projection mapping in Resolume. This video will cover how to set up automated playback behaviour of sequences of clips using the autopilot settings. We will also cover how to set transitions and different types of playback and how to set cue points within clips. If you are providing a projection mapped cake like this for someone's wedding or event, it's not always practical to manually trigger clips every time. You want to set up some kind of automated behaviour that governs how and when the clips will play. You do this on a layer basis using the autopilot settings. This enables you to set up your sequence and then let Resolume take care of the rest. As I said, you can set autopilot in the layer settings, so you will find them here in the layer panel. They are currently off. You can set clips to either play forwards in sequence or play backwards in the order they are arranged in the deck. To reorder them, click on the text label of the clip slot and drag it to a new location. If the new slot already contains a clip, the two will change places. Many of my clips start black and end on black, so transitioning isn't really a problem. But if I take my generative clips as examples, I don't want them to abruptly move from one to the other. I can set a fade transition duration here, for example 2 seconds. If you can't see these options, you might need to toggle on Show Layer Transition Controls under View. Remember these autopilot settings only apply to layer 1 at the moment. I'll have to set them for any additional layers I plan on using. You can also set autopilot behaviour on a single clip by right-clicking on the text label of the clip and accessing autopilot. There is a range of options here, for example, after the clip has played, play a random clip or choose a specific clip. These settings will override the autopilot behaviour set by the layer. For example, the autopilot settings of the layer would dictate that Spiked Sphere would play after Confetti Fountain. However, if I tell Confetti Fountain to play Sparkle Triangle once it has finished, the behaviour set by the clip will prevail and the layer behaviour will be overridden. I can set additional playback behaviour within the clip panel. For example, I can set a clip to play backwards instead of forwards when it is triggered. I can also play from a random position on the timeline, or bounce between forwards and backwards playback, or play once and then disappear, or play and hold. There are other settings here for you to explore that specify where a clip plays from after it has been stopped on a previous occasion. You can set the in and out points of a clip by dragging these small green brackets. These determine when the clip starts and ends. So for example, if I wanted this clip to start when the cascade is in full flow, I would set my in point to somewhere here. You can also set cue points within clips so that at the touch of a button you can jump to the point at which you set a cue. Set a cue by scrubbing to the place you want to set the cue, then clicking a segment. The queue turns green when it is set. Click the segment to trigger the queue. Right click on the green queue marker to remove the queue point. Unlike these video files which inherently have a duration, my generative clips could go on and on and so they are given a duration in their properties. This duration is set here under transport in their clip properties panel. These are set to play for 5 seconds in total by default. I could increase this to something much longer, like 30 seconds. Are you going to be automating your show for a particular event? Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments down below. If this video helped you, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with more cake mapping and projection mapping tutorials and videos.